Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Andy. I'm here to talk to you guys about Teslas. So, um, in my channel, uh, I talk about Teslas and stuff like that. But for this video, we are just going to have a nice drive around Brooklyn, New York City. Uh, we're just going to drive around the Model 3 with it. And just so that we have a feel of how it feels like to drive in New York City. Um, given this is just in Brooklyn, um, the roads are different. But um, most of the time, people that do drive are in one of these boroughs anyways. Um, this is around Bensonhurst in Brooklyn. Um, so yeah, this is a Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive. Um, I typically uh, charge it around to 250 miles um, kind of range, um, just so we know what that is in percentage. That's about 80% pretty much every night, uh, I charge it 80%. Um, anyways, um, if you like this kind of video, uh, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this on my channel. Um, this is a tech channel, um, Tesla based and other stuff like that. If you look at my channel and browse around, you'll notice that I've done a lot of Tesla videos and I've also done a couple of um, kind of coding channels, um, coding videos and stuff like that. Um, just basically talking about how to code and how to like, write certain apps, things like that. Um, anyway, so for today, I'm going to um, UPS store right now to drop off some packages that I'm returning um, on the Model 3, so I'm doing that right now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep quiet now for a bit, just so you guys can hear noise, road noise and things like that on the vehicle. got a good glimpse as to how it is like, kind of the sound of the Model 3. Um, the mic is going to pick up a lot more noise than it really is um, in Tesla. Uh, I've noticed that uh, when I recorded the first time, um, the car, I mean the GoPro kind of picks up a lot more noise. Um, maybe it's just that I'm used to it, but it is much more quiet than I would say like a actual car, like compared to my old car, like a Scion XD, it's just like much quieter, you don't hear any engine noise, anything like that. Um, I don't really miss it because I had a really good car, or you know, for those who have it, uh, you know, whatever. But yeah, my car wasn't great, um, it didn't have a great exhaust or engine or anything like that. It was like your typical Toyota car that you would use to drive around, pretty much. That's the whole point of me getting that car. It was my first car, um, it was just to get me from point A to point B. Um, and uh, I was lucky enough to be able to afford this car now um, and be able to drive it around. 
Um, but yeah, like compared to that car, like this car is much more quiet. Um, I don't mind the noise, like, but if the car was nice, I wouldn't mind it. Um, uh, if I had like a, I don't know, I guess like a BMW or a Mercedes that had a really nice exhaust it, and it sounded great, then I wouldn't mind the noise. But yeah, compared to most cars, I would say this is pretty good. Um, I sat an Audi Q5, um, and in comparison, um, the Q5 seems more quiet, and the only reason why is probably because of the exhaust noise that it makes and the engine noise. Uh, when I drove it, it sounded really quiet, like all I could hear was the engine exhaust noise, but I, I figured that is the noise that's covering up all of the like, road noise that you usually hear, because right now I can hear all, all you're really hearing is basically the tires on the road. Um, you're not really hearing anything else. Completely the tires, like, aside from that, I can't really hear anything. Like, the isolation of this car is pretty good. Um, a person really had to talk really loud outside for me to hear anything from the outside. Um, like, yeah, you really can't pick up much from the outside. Um, like, car noise, yeah, you can pick it up here and there, but that's pretty much, I feel like, in the most cars, it's about the same. Um, yeah, I think a lot, a lot, things that sound is way more dampened in this car. Like, if I open the window right now, like just like a quarter inch way, you can definitely hear a lot more in comparison. I also have the AC on, but I don't think you can hear anything because I don't think the fan is blasted off much yet. That one AC, um, yeah. So, some setting stuff just to talk you through. Uh, I have like, um, for collision warning uh, ahead of time, but I put it on early. So if it thinks really early on that I might get into an accident, it'll try to get me um, to break earlier, I guess. I'm just gonna park here really quick. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much backup cam. Uh, this is 20, 20, not 12, not 24. Um, I mean, not 2020, it's 2020.12, 20, 2020.20, 20. 20. I believe. Um, there's a 2020.24 that comes with the backup cams on with the side repeaters, which basically is the two side cameras on the left and right side of the car. Um, so Tesla's been working on, for the last couple of months, basically working on the dash cam features and working on using the cameras and utilizing them rather than just keeping them basically bounded to what they are right now, which is a sentry mode. Um, so what they've done so far is they gave us the launch viewer, which you can look at when you're parked. Um, when you're driving, you can't look at them, obviously, because of safety reasons. Um, but they include the two left and right cameras, uh, so they're called side repeaters, um, the front camera, and then your rear view backup camera, which is this camera right here. Um, it includes all of them for you to look at. So while we're parked right here, I'm just going to show it to you. If you press park, click on that one, and launch viewer, and you can see um, basically a viewer front, rear, left, and right. So I'm just going to go back to park now and let things go. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much the gist of what we have. Um, the new one that has been leaked um, in Tesla Model 3s in China is that the two side repeaters are being used now also for backing up. So this is a request or a feature that a lot of people really wanted. Um, essentially, you basically get to um, look, have a better view of where you're parking into. So in the Model 3, you know, it's great, you know, the mirrors are fine the visibility is great um, but the problem is that sometimes you get into a really tight driveway or tight parking spots so in New York a lot of parking spots are pretty tight in my opinion uh, like mine is like about eight feet this car is around like six feet I literally have two feet to buffering I mean two feet sounds like a lot um, but like in New York most parking spaces are like this tight and you have to like kind of just turn in and get into it um, 
Like, yeah, I mean, it, it works, but if you had a side repeaters on, you, it's easier for you to see, especially when people park, like, right next to your driveway. Alright, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I pretty much continue driving on from here. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching this video, and if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. If you would like to watch any more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I make a bunch of tech videos and Tesla videos and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to be making a video on 2020.24 when I get that update on my car. I will be making a video on that. Um, aside from that, I hope everyone stays safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.